Hey guys, what's up? This is Buffboy and welcome to episode 5 of my Sandy Bay Gold Edition series. And today we are going to try and finish off doing the grass work for the cattle. So, we are in the good old class, 650 Arion. Arion. Um, we've got the uh, tether which I purchased away from uh, away from the series. And we are going to ted this and winrow it in this episode we might also do some other bits depending how much of it I cut out and how much I waffle on but anyway let's unfold it and get it going so I've got the uh, pottingers the uh, the biggest standard tether that you can get uh, which is very lovely let's try and get it in and up. Oh, right let's lower it down and We'll get tedding. So the uh, idea of uh, using a tedder is to dry out all of the grass that you cut, uh, and then you can windrow it, and then you have hay, um, hay bales, which you then need uh, for feeding and various other things um, for uh, for your cattle. But anyway, without further ado, let's get going, and you will see as we go along what we do. So there you go. Look immediately. You can see the grass being dried out, which is lovely. Give it that. But we need that. I'm a professional farmer. <laughs> <coughs> As you can maybe hear, I'm not 100% well, but hey, nothing gets between me and my game except for real life and work, <laughs> which is annoying sometimes, but hey. Right. So let's do a bit of housekeeping as we uh, start off doing this. Um, so plans, as I said, I'm still, still, still waiting to get uh, fibre broadband, uh, which means I won't be doing any live streams, unfortunately, until that is all sorted. Um, but as soon as I do get it, I will be doing them. That is a guarantee that I make to you. Um, that will be something that comes to my channel. So let me know if that is something that you want to see. I know a lot of you tuned in when I tried it before and failed and you guys were disappointed. So hopefully that will be less of a disappointment to you next time. Um, what else? Um, I'm enjoying this series. Uh, I did a couple of American Truck Simulator videos and I was actually surprised at how, how, much, how little the interest was in it. I have to say I was expecting a bit more interest in it, which is why I haven't done any more. But um, I know you guys like watching Farming Simulator, but I thought that American Truck Simulator would be something that you were more um, interested in, but evidently not. So we'll stick with Farming Simulator for the moment. Um, but that leads me on to my next point, which is I am planning on doing some proper Let's Play with um, uh, Phase Cam. So if there's any games that you'd like me to see play uh, like that, I've got a couple in mind uh, that I want to try out and do and see what you guys think just about getting around to it and getting it all set up because for me that would take quite a long time because I've never done it before so I'd need to learn about camera angles and editing it etc um, uh, so it would take me a long time to do so it's not just one that I can do in the evening after work you know in an hour or two hours or so that I'd normally do it's gonna be a three four hour job in total I would think because I want to do it right it won't be by the time I finish. I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be lots of things that I can do better with it. Um, but you'll get the idea, and hopefully, then the idea would be to do, you know, record two or three episodes, and then I don't just do one and then stop doing them because I haven't got time. Um, if there are any titles that you want to see me do on there, then um, let me know on here. Um, I'm also on Twitter and Facebook, and so you can message me on there. Uh, I reply as quickly as humanly possible on all of them, so do please follow and um, like my pages, Facebook and Twitter, that would be lovely, and you'll always get a little bit of behind the scenes of when I'm recording and things like that, and I realise I shouldn't have come out here unless I can just about fit, and I get which I can, which is very good indeed. <laughs> oh, oh, just keep talking. Um, but yes, um, as I said originally, this series kind of came about because I went for the West Coast map, which I still am. But you know, it's going to be a coastal map like this, so I'm not too dissatisfied with this one. 
and I am really enjoyed playing it. I want to do um, some beef and lamb um, work on this because I've never done it before. And it is something that I've seen a lot of other YouTubers like Daggerwood do, um, and it's something that I want to do. Um, so any help with that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> right, we've got what looks like a couple more rows, which is very good indeed. I'm going to do these as proper rows, so I can do that. Lift that up. going to be two more rows in reality. This is an excellent tractor for it, you can say. It's got good power. It's managing to do this at a reasonable pace up the hill. You're never going to get it that fast, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll get lots of lovely bales out of this. So then you've got hay, straw and silage, which means we can start feeding things which we might get round to in this episode, which would be exciting. Um, and then we'll start getting the cattle at 100%, 110% efficiency, meaning they'll produce loads of milk. And then we can start selling it and making some cash, because, as you can see, I'm not very cash rich at the moment. Uh, the fermentation of the um, uh, silage is it at about 25%, uh, so we've still got a fair old way to go on that. We won't be doing that until tomorrow in terms of game tomorrow if you get what I mean. Um, but hey, there we go. We just get all of that in. Just about. Lovely. Right, that's it. That actually was done pretty quickly considering it's a reasonably sized field. All the way to bottom, there's no point missing out little bits. So, as I, I did the outside for silage, and uh, I've done a little, little bit of this bit for uh, hay bales. Right, there we go. Raise it up and fold it up. Got a lovely tractor, lovely sky developing. We might get a good sunset here. Get this out of the way. I'll uh, go and find a place for this in the in the farm, and then I'll go and pick up the wind rower, and I will. Uh, that is where I will see you next. Okay. Yes, I admit it. I bought a too big a wind rower. Uh, actually, it hasn't unfolded as I thought it was going to. So we're all right, actually. Right. Stop. Lower it down. So now this puts it into nice little rows. So then we can use the baler to bale it all up. Um, so the idea I've just had will be to bale this up and then I will be in a position where I've got two fields full of bales. So, end of this episode, start of next episode, we will be doing some baling with the New Holland front loader onto the uh, bale trailer. Which I really enjoy doing with the Satec wheel, which is what I've got set up at the moment. Um, it's really good. It, it's probably the element that you get the most realism out of the set of wheel. Um, is using the, joy, the little mini joystick for um, you know for the uh, front loader and things like that. It's it just works better in my opinion than it does with the um, than it does with the forestry stuff. Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Right, let's hope we fit through this gap here. I'm struggling a bit now, isn't it? Tractor. Maybe I should have used more. Uh, I'll try and turn around here. Should we be okay? Whoa, there we go. I mean, and you start to pick up speed. Yes, excellent. Gonna have a lovely little kink in the middle of here because of my impressive driving. But once this is done, we should be able to crack on it, which is good. Um, so leave this with me, and I'll pick it up at the end of this wind rowing session. So we just have this tiny little bit 
left to do. And then we are done with the rowing. Lovely. Right, let's turn that racket off. There we go. So now we've got to go and find a place for this in the... So we've got to go and find a place for this in the yard somewhere. Let's just see if we can get up here without causing too much damage to anyone or anything. Mm -mm -mm. Starting to fill up with kit on the farm, I have to say. We'll be moving some stuff around later on in the series, I'm sure, over to where the cattle is and the forestry, etc. So that's full in there. That's not. Let's put it in here. Too far? No. Just about right. Just. Sweet. <laughs> got that sorted now I need to decide actually I have just thought of something mm, let's jump out of that so while this has got the scoop on the front I'm gonna go and just see if the cows have already dropped any manure which I can then go and put in the greenhouse because I'm about to take the scoop off to put a bale spike on it, obviously. And I may as well try this while I'm A, here. And B, have the scoop on. I doubt there's going to be very much at all, if anything, in here. No. Not a single sausage, I don't think. Let's just double check. Mm. Animals. 15% manure, zero. Oh dear. Right, so they don't have any manure. <laughs> so scrap that idea. So we need to go and drop this off. I'll just go and buy a layer of spike. the same take of a stick I'd like to point out I right so let's just buy one of these uh, telehandlers bale spike wrapped bale handler we don't have any wrapped bales so let's go with the bale spike uh, now we're just going to be a bit lazy, I'm afraid, and get it dropped to the farm. And <coughs> now we just need to go and drop the bucket off. Let's go and put this in here, which is kind of a bits and bobs trailer. Trailer storage unit, should I say? Oh, that is muddy. I've just realised where the bell spike is going to have been dropped. Right back in the cow's field, so I've got to go and open the gate again. To go and, do it. and it's actually with the bale trailer. We could take that with us, I think. Don't need to open one. Oh, 
Let's get this lethal weapon out of the way, shall we? I'm pretty sure we'll be able to carry this. Carry this, tow this. Well, what I was doing for you. So we can take that with us. That is good to know, but before we do that, let's just go and check on combine. Still only 65%, but the main thing is he's still going up and down. So you can see how much he's done since I uh, unloaded him the first time. It just fills up so slowly with Kenobi that hasn't been, hasn't been sprayed. Kind of pressing. But, need to. Do we want to go and bail? Let's take this over to... Let's take this over to field... What field did I do? 8? Was it 28? It's so long ago, man. It was 28, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so let's take this massive trailer with us. Which may not be exactly how you're meant to do it, but I li quite like it as a solution. Uh, we can go around that way, so let's go that way. Big old bale trailer. Bloody hell. A long old thing, isn't it? Jeez. I don't think I've ever used this trailer. But. <laughs> Flashlight. <laughs> Wonder what's going on then. Uh, right, let's take this to field 28. We might do the first few bales, get going, get the feel for it, and then we will be back for the next episode. Ooh, rough. Not ideal, but it's okay, we have a brush on the <laughs> <coughs> And there we are, we're off on our glorious way over to field 28. Hopefully, we can start to get some bales going. Yes indeed, right, let's go more realistic. Flat out this thing, it's 25 miles an hour, it's still nowhere near the speed limit. But yet I overtake cars, which still annoys me slightly. Cars should on like the AI traffic should do like 35 miles an hour. Probably have a lot more shunts trying to go in and out of junctions, but then it's probably more realistic. And we really need to go and check out the Enchanted Forest now. For now. We can just Put this, let's start over in this area down here. Let's try and find some reasonable flat land. It should be about there. Disconnect that. And we are now good to start bailing. So let's do a couple, shall we? Let's do a couple of this. Let's 
getting this first one lined up, which I think is going to be the key. Okay, so that's the first one on. Let's just check my positioning. Mm hmm. Should just be able to do this, I reckon. Right, let's do one more the other side and kind of see where we end up. <coughs> let's get this one out the uh, straw a bit. There we go then. It was as easy as that. So we've got two bells on and we can probably double stack I think with this. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode. So next episode, episode 6, we're going to finish off loading up all of these. We'll drop them off somewhere. We're not going to sell them because I need them for the, um, uh, for the cattle feed. Um, and then we will move on to the hay bales. Could do that as well. Um, before we start um, with the cattle but hopefully you've enjoyed this episode if you have then please drop me a like subscribe for more for the rest of this series and for more farming simulator videos and as always let me know what you want to see and uh, hopefully I'll be able to sort that out for you I will be doing the um, Holmer DLC when I get a sugar beet field um, but for now that's going to be about it goodbye